that he has with his offense. A lot of respect. A lot of respect, and frankly, I thought it spilled over to the defense. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Touchdown, Jaguars. A big play there. 71 yards as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Well, go ahead and strap in, partner. I mean, <laughs> less than two minutes in, had the score on the one side. A quick answer, though, to get the equalizer. Sometimes you get that sense of urgency that ratchets up, right? When you give up an early touchdown like that, you just know you're like, okay, how do we go back and equalize things? Can we get it done fast? Mills offense coming back onto the field. Let's go back and revisit that week six game against New Orleans. A cool thing that happened is that the Jags honored the top 25 players in the team's 25 years of existence at halftime. Hard to believe that they've been around 25 years. But Tony Baselli, Fred Taylor, Jimmy Smith highlighted the list. And they could have used all three of them to the race in their own division with their upcoming schedule. They go to Cincinnati. They're home against the Jets. Despite the fact the Jets beat Dallas, I still think that they'll be favored in that one. And then they have a home game in London against the Texans, who currently lead the AFC South. I think they win the first two. That third one, if they win that one, they could be off to the races. And if they win all three, they'll be back above 500 at five and four. Now those are the ones that hurt defensively. You do everything right. Excellent pressure, good coverage downfield, and then he slips out the back door and turns it into a nice game. And long, and they're going to go for it. Looking to throw. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. Got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. In for the score. As they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Still first quarter, two receiving touchdowns for him. How are they going to slow him down? I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch a better cover guy to him. Or you make sure you have more people in his general area, wherever he lines up. D. Yeah, momentum swing. And, you know, I remember playing how much fourth downs were emphasized. You know, because, as you said, it's a momentum play. It's also a big test for you. You know, if people are going to go for it on fourth down, they believe you're not up to the challenge. You want to show them differently. But we spent a lot of time exalting the offensive masterminds in this game, right? They draw up these beautiful plays. They look so perfect up on the board. But occasionally, sometimes you just say, throw it up and let him go get it. How about that play? First and 10, just outside the 30. They'll set up a throw. He'll let this go for the end zone. Got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. A great play there. 30. Regain the lead. And there's going to be a stoppage here. The booth wants to take another look at this potential touchdown. NFL 100 game of the week. Oakland at Green Bay, a rematch of Super Bowl II. Also have New Orleans at Chicago and Philly visiting Dallas on Sunday night. That is a huge one in the NFC East. Yeah, both teams 3-3. Three and three. The winner will have the lead in that division. A great pick up there, 35 yards, and obviously the first down to go along with it. But one thing's for sure, they're going to have to come up with something at halftime because he is absolutely roasting them right now. They're going to go through the whole litany of things, changing coverages, you know, what are we going to do to put a man on him? The big thing to me is treat it like a good pitcher treats pitching a game. Change your timing. Now a play fake here on first down. Going right side here, and that's complete. Touchdown, Jaguars! As his guys are in for six. As his guys have now moved out in front. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, but <laughs> offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right drive. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Throwing right, and that's complete. 
And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 50 here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And this will be caught at the 30. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Well, big plays back and forth just continue. Both offenses excelling. And I hear the excitement in your voice while you're calling this game. This hurts my soul as a defensive player watching these teams go up and down the field and put points on the Do board. Do me a favor the rest of the way. Sit back, relax, and just appreciate the offensive dominance that's going on out here. I'll give it a shot. Inside the 30 now, first and 10. They'll look to throw. And an alley to run. And now running right through it. And he will score. It's a touchdown. It's their quarterback. 29 yards as they have taken the lead. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve it here. Do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. you got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect. But overall, you like what your game plan showing you. And he'll work it across midfield in town. They're going to look to throw. And this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. A very solid gain of 27. Brandon, so many times we see the crossing route start as a quick hitter, but in this play, he had time in the pocket and waited for him to clear going across. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. A 16-yard touchdown as his guys have now moved out in front. I think if you pulled defensive backs, they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first. We traded touchdowns so far with their first possessions here in the third quarter, so we're right back to where we started at intermission. Yeah, how about that? Tied at the half, tied after the first two drives of the third quarter, one for each. That tells me that someone's defense has got to step up and make a big play and try and change the momentum of this game. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. To throw now on first down. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his... And we just know the guys playing it are really wishing for college rules. Only need that one, one foot, foot down instead of two. It's awfully difficult on the sideline, isn't it? And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. A great play there. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far as they have taken the lead. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense. They both know this is a team game, one of the best team games that's out there. But right now, I've forgotten what the scoreboard even says. Just watching what he's doing. It's been fun. That's, that's, that's been mesmerizing and a whole lot of fun to watch. He's hoping to keep it going here in the third quarter. The catch and run pays off to the tune of 35 yards. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Rolling to his left. He can run for it, and he will. 
Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. They'll throw. Got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. A 16-yard touchdown. And they're able to break the tie and move out in front here in this fourth quarter. Brandon, is there any way you and I can join this quarterback in the zone he's in? He's absolutely feeling it. Touchdown after touchdown, throwing the ball to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly... And that's caught inside the 35. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. That one good for 37 yards. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside. And he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. This will be caught inside the 10. 25 yards that time. Uh, he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again, he picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him, double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. Hard line. Three yards is the game that time, second and goal. A two-yard touchdown grab. And they are able to break the tie and move out in front here in this fourth quarter. Yeah, he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. Clee. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. On the move to his left. Dancing to his left. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. And he'll get this one way up, just shy of the 45-yard line. As they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. He'll drop to throw. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And that's a touchdown as they've broken our tie here in the final minute of the fourth. I don't know how many more of these my heart can take, my man. I just don't know. Another big touchdown late in the game. They look like they're in control, but still, there's a chance. Block the extra point, go down and score, kick the extra point themselves. They can pull this one out. Yeah, but also on the sideline that just took the lead, you got to get your defense ready and the special teams unit for the kickoff coming up. Yeah, you're exactly right. Got to pull everyone together and make sure they're still focused and aren't already celebrating a win. but I know what you're saying. In overtime, that gets doubled, doesn't it? At least, because now the crowd really wants to be involved and help their team, and that first drive can dictate the whole thing because they know if this team takes a downfield and scores a touchdown, it's good. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. Man, open left side. It's his running back with it. A huge play there in overtime. 43 yards. A lot of running backs in the passing game, they're just used to check it down to them or maybe dump off passes. But this guy, they use him to stretch the field, don't they? He stretched it right there, turned it into a really nice game. Momentum swing down here in the end zone. And he did his job. He knocked the ball away. But it does feel like a letdown for him and his teammates, doesn't it? A chance to enter. And this will be caught. It's a touchdown. An absolute stunned silence here as they have come in and stolen this one in overtime. 